Apologize for it being so late. Schoolwork, man. Let's see if I can start up my old phone. If not, um, so I can see your guys' comments and stuff. Oh boy, it's at a low battery. Let's see. Put it in. Before it dies. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, did it die? No, it didn't. Cool. Here, I'm getting, I'm trying to get it to where I can see your guys' comments on my old phone. Uh, oh, I can't use this charger. Well, I'll just have to pull you guys out of the thing. Because my phone, or my other phone is dead. Come on! Shutting because your coat's in the middle. Plug this in. Let's see. Hello, Wesley's Trains. Hello, Doug Taylor. How are you guys doing tonight? Anyone else on here? Um, I guess since not very many people are on, um, I'll just do the review currently. Um, So, yeah. Hello, Galaxy Rail Fanning. How are you doing tonight?
trying to clear all these messages that I'm getting right now. Make sure it's a long battery life. Oh, I got four people on now. Cool. So how's everyone doing tonight? Hello, RC. Um, good things so far. Good, 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 good stuff. Here, I'm gonna see if you know what. I'm gonna try something. I think I might put you guys back here. Put you guys back in this. Up like that, and then try to see if I can read your comments from uh, from a distance. Three percent, man. Um, let's see. Because I'll do the, I'll unwrap these and stuff like that so you can see them. And yeah. I just got to pull up your comments and stuff so I can see you guys. Sorry, I've been busy with schoolwork, so it's kind of, I tried to get it done pretty quickly to where I could uh, live stream still for you guys, you know. And I appreciate the response from the recent video with DJ's trains. That's just, that's amazing. Like, just awesome. So, uh, oh god, more trains. Be right back. Okay. Winkleman channel. Hello. Um, so I'm going to probably end up doing this unboxing here. Let's get you guys closer. Just don't also, I don't want you guys to tip either. Let's see, there you go. There, that might be better. Um, and delay and block. Yeah, that was uh, I appreciate you guys, you know, watching that video, sharing it, liking it, whatever you did, you know. Um, I appreciate it, like. Did I think it was going, like, now, as in numbers-wise, it didn't, um, it, it did pretty well as in views, because it obviously hit over a thousand views, um, you know, that's, it did very well as in the YouTube algorithm, it, it hit the algorithm somehow pretty well, and it just, a bunch of people were getting it suggested, I think, in their content, so, um, you know, um, for DJ's trains, you know, he thought that he was, I think he was surprised that I had a video of the conversation. I contacted him and stuff, and he's like, you know, just cut out parts, you know. I couldn't put the full conversation in there because there's stuff in there that cannot, you know, I don't want um, DJ to get in trouble for anything that he said or, you know, um, you know, just to be polite. So I took some of that conversation out. I put in the stuff that was respectful. And I mean, it wasn't like he was disrespectful towards anybody. It was just more like, you know, um, he told me some things that, you know, can't be, uh, you know, typically wouldn't be, uh, said to, you know, a real fan or, you know, stuff like that. So, um, you know, he, he I just, you know, I respect him and stuff. And he said, Hey, make sure to not include this stuff. So that's what I did. And, you know, it still did, you know, very well. Um, you guys got probably, I'd say, the conversation that you guys saw is probably like I'd say eighty percent, ninety percent of the full conversation. So there you only you know, there's only a few things that I just took out. Um but yeah, the comment he made on it, that was awesome. You know, I've I've watched his channel, so you know, it was like when I saw him in the cab, I was like, What? You know, I started, you know, freaking out. And then um what else? Then then like around 2 30 i think it was delay and block commented on my uh video and i was just like what you know like i wasn't expecting that whatsoever like 
for me, it was already, I was already thankful enough to meet DJ's trains and, you know, get to have conversation with him and, you know, him to be happy to see the video and stuff. And then for Delay and Block to be like, comment, you know, that's cool as well. You know, I'm very thankful that um, it reached those two. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you all, you know. If it wasn't for you guys, my, you know, supporters, friends, subscribers and stuff, you know, um, you know, some of this stuff wouldn't be possible. Well, it wouldn't be possible, you know. So I appreciate that. And, you know, I do my best. I'm constantly always busy. It's my senior year. So um, that's why this live streams later, because, you know. I just, I'm dealing with a lot of schoolwork before Christmas break, so please forgive me, and um, I'm going to start doing this unboxing, so, um, you know, so, or unwrapping slash unboxing, um, actually, here, let me see, oh yeah, I have, you know, I don't know if you guys, any of you are um, interested, but I mean, um, I do have some model trains for sale, uh, passenger cars, um, and locomotives. Um, I can show you guys them really quick if you would like me to, or I could do it, li you know, later. I mean, just a quick overview of what I have. If, you know, maybe one of you are interested, you know, shoot me a, a text on Facebook or something. Um, say in the live chat if you would like to see any of the models I have available uh, for sale. Um, cause I'll, I'll do that really quick before I unwrap the, uh, the coaches right here. Please do now. Anybody else in the chat, sir? I had a test today before. Now, sure. Okay. You had a test today on Galaxy? Before break, yeah. I got, I got assigned two essays, so... I don't know if you heard me, but I got assigned two essays. So yeah, that wasn't very fun. But yeah, we'll come we'll come back to these really quick. I'm gonna show you what I have available. No. <laughs> Y'all just got blocked. <laughs> uh we probably aren't doing much at all tomorrow, according to my teachers, thankfully. Yeah, for me, I feel like the essays are kind of like the last thing I have to do before, you know, everything ends. But yeah, yeah, essays suck. But thank God it's my last year. <laughs> but um, this is all what I have available for sale. I have a Norfolk Southern Concord baggage car, Norfolk Southern Concord coach, which if you didn't know this, NS cars really aren't easy to come across. So um, literally really didn't. I pulled them out of the box maybe a couple times, few times. So, yeah. Um, this I've had for, you know, I've used this one. So, um, you know, use uh, this one. I didn't use very much. I believe I only pulled out. What is this trash? I don't know. You, bruh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm just showing what I have available for sale if any of you are interested. And I have these cars. Um, I actually have two of these Amtrak coaches. I just only have the one currently. Um, how much are the Amtraks? Well, I still have to determine a price for the Amtrak coaches because I cannot determine what brand these are. I cannot determine. Um, once I determine that, I can give you a rough you know, estimate. I wish I had a number for it. Now, this... This, I know what the brand is and everything. This, I'm going to probably charge maybe $25 for it. Only problem is um, it's missing a coupler. Now, if you really want me to, I can. I bought it without the coupler. I didn't realize it didn't have the coupler from a friend. But, I, I mean, it could have easily fallen out or broke. But um, I can, I can, I plan on repairing the coupler, you know. It, like, let's say you want it and you want me to repair the coupler I, I can do that pretty easily and or if, if you want to buy it right now I could always uh send it or you know you could always do the coupler if you want but um I'll get you an you know Winkleman I'll get you an answer for this uh just 
if you have me on Facebook, I I have a Facebook page called GT Rail Fan Productions. Um, shoot me a message through there. Um, Instagram, GT Rail Fan underscore Productions. If you can DM me there, just get in contact me, with me somehow. Um, the NS Dome Car. High hood in the corner. Oh, yeah, this right here. Here, I'll show it in a second. Wire transfer 10K into my bank account now. Why? Because I insulted you, sir. That is an awesome NS Dome car. Yeah, I'm selling this for uh, $25. Um, so if you're interested, you know, like I said to uh, Winkleman, if you uh, want, you know, if you're interested in anything, just shoot me a text on Facebook, DM me. Um, through my page, or if you have me as a personal friend, um, DM me. Same with Instagram. And then I do, I have Missouri Pacific Proto 2000 um, PAs, which I've, I don't remember running them or not, which I plan on testing them because I've, I honestly can't tell you if, you know, I don't remember, um, you know, I can't remember, what do you call it? running them so um yeah i will see the thing is i have i just replaced this red cord because i've had this remote for, you know for a while for years and the red cord gave out on me and i went to plug in the power amp cord and you know magically it's just like oh this cord isn't working either so i gotta replace that but eventually i'm probably going to get rid of my remote because i really don't have a purpose for straight DC stuff when I'm going to be running, you know, upgrading all my stuff to DCC and sound. Um, I don't have anything except YouTube. Oh, darn. Um, does your parents possibly have Facebook or, you know, stuff like that? Um, you know, they can contact me through Facebook if you, if you don't have anything. Um, same with, uh, and then I have this NS, uh, high hood GP50, straight DC, and, um, I have to put a horn on it because the horn broke off, which I really don't know how, um, but I, I'll simply replace that same thing here, it's not gonna be a hard fix, and then, um, this is a standard cab GP38, dash two and i believe it's dcc and sound um i'm gonna test it you know whenever i get the chance to confirm um i'll basically come up with you know right now so right now basically i think i have for the gp4 or 50 i think it's 40 or 45 the standard cab probably i'd say about 65 dollars maybe then you got the New Haven Coach, $25. $25 for the Dome car. $25, $25. These two, um, these will probably be, I'd say, seven, well, I'd say 70 for these, the Missouri Pacific PAs. 65, 70. Um, 25. Don't know. 15 and yeah that's about it i have i'm pro probably gonna end up selling these as well yes i know i just bought this but you know um your boy i don't know i feel like a friend uh might want them more and have a better use for them um but basically these these are on hold because i have friends interested in them so you know if any all are interested you know, again, shoot me a text through Instagram or Facebook, and yeah, um, this, these two are 25 together, this is 40 brand new, this is 45, but used, but, um, it is, it's got a special edition box, and it's hardly been used, so, you know, typically it's like 60 bucks brand new or more, so, I'm offering a pretty good price, 45, 50 bucks, so, Guys, can you donate to my GoFundMe, bruh? Rail fans of southeastern Iowa. What, bruh? Hey, these are good decals, or deals. Yes, they are. 
Um, I'm just, I'm basically, I've, you know, I've, you know, I've just grown, you know, I've grown uh, out of these cars and locomotives and I'm upgrading and buying other stuff. So it's just, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to really make a super big profit. I'm just here to sell it. And, you know, I'm not one of those people that kind of overprice anything. I, If anything, I'm offering a really good price for most of these um, models. So, uh, yeah, that cut cap for leg surgery. Why oh, you need, oh, darn. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Did like, is there something specific that's why you have to have leg surgery? Dang, that sucks. You live right, you live right around the corner, Dave. Dane, you don't need no leg surgery. But yeah, oh, I got 10 people on here. Dang. Hello, everybody that's on here. Appreciate everyone that is on here. I don't know if you've seen, but I this is my stuff that I am selling. Uh, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Unknown right now, but I have two of these. So um, 15, probably 65, 70, I'd say. Uh, 45, probably 65, 70 as well. DCC and sound. Um, but got to test everything because, you know. Um, I haven't tested it in years, so, um, then 25 for the, these two, your Lackawanna boxcar and gondola, then you got 40 for this New York Central coach, that's brand new, and then 45 for this special edition kitchen dormitory car, which has an, a special edition box, so, that's the last time I'm going to show it, and... Uh, I'm going to unbox or unwrap the other locomotives. So, yeah. This time you get to see me walk. Yo. Yeah. Come on, people. What do we want? No. You're not getting a horror. You're not getting no house tour tonight. No. You know a house tour. You get, you get to see. You get to see a tour of new car. That's it. That's it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Probably saw my face. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care that much. Just if I can avoid it, and I will. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. Can I get this to work or not? Is it gonna be big dumb? There we go. All right, let's see. The regular Amtrak is Bachman. Uh, is it the coach, the uh, Amfleet coach, or is it the the dome car? Because I know the dome car for sure is uh. What do you call it? I know the dome car is Bachman for sure. I was assuming that the Amfleets were Bachman, but I can't. I didn't really look into it yet. But I mean, if you're, if you're interested, I have to look up the price of the Amfleet coaches and determine a price. I mean, they're used, but they're in pretty good condition. And um, if you're interested, uh, try to get one of your parents to contact me so we can arrange something. Uh, Winkleman, uh, Winkleman's channel. So, what you selling? Uh, I just sold, well, I just showed that on the screen, uh, what I was going to be selling. Uh, a Bachman Spectrum New Haven coach for $25. Um, probably usually priced more like, you know, more brand new, um, a lot more. So, uh, what else did I have? I have two NS uh, Concord coaches, Norfolk Southern. They're hard to come across. So, uh, yeah, I might want to look into those if you're into NS passenger cars for the OCS and stuff. Um, I'm offering both of those for $25. It's a baggage and a regular coach. And then, um, what was the one in the middle here? 
Uh, the NS Dome car I'm offering for $25 as well. Uh, I have an NS GP38-2 standard cab with DCC and sound, which I, I'm, I'm listing it at probably 65, 70 maybe right now. Uh, I'm going to test it to make sure everything's okay with it because you always test things just to make sure, you know, if you haven't run it in a while. And then uh, NS GP50 high hood. Which, uh, the GP38 is Bachman, the, uh, GP50 high hood is Bachman, or, wait, is it Bachman? Yes, it is Bachman. And then I have Proto 2000 Missouri Pacific Alco PA-1s, a a, a a locomotive and a B locomotive, so a B set. Those are straight DC. I'd probably charge maybe, like, 60, probably, for that. 60, 65. And then, the... Ba I, then I have the Bachman Amtrak Dome Car 25, the Amtrak Ampli Coach, which I don't really know the price I have for that yet. The Atlantic Coastline Passenger Car 15 bucks, and then I have the four the cars up on my blue bin that are kind of on hold for friends, but they'll be available if they don't buy them. Ooh, Mopac PAs. I have been looking for those. You want me to show you them again really quick? I'll show you really quick. Beep, 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 beep. So I pulled everything out of the, you know, bubble wrap and stuff like that. Here, I'm going to pull this. I'm just going to put them up. Put them up here. I'm going to test them first, you know, because I can't, I honestly don't remember um, ever testing them, so... Um, I want to make sure they work and everything before, you know, I, I'm assuming they work because, you know, I'm assuming so, but I don't remember, uh, testing them. So when I get that cord, um, just like I said, shoot me a text, man, and, uh, just we'll figure it out and stuff. Um, you know, they're proto 2000s, so. And I'm offering them, I believe what I said I was offering them for is probably like 60 to $70. But remember, with all these purchases, I, you know, you as the buyer, you got to pay a shipping, which is about $10. So, you know, just letting y'all know that. Um, House tour. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's nice looking. Yeah. They're very nice. It's just, it doesn't fit, like, they're nice locomotives. It just doesn't, f like, that's not me. You know, that's why I'm selling some of this stuff. Because, like, some of it, it's just, like, it's not me or I grew out of it. You know, it was like, ooh, this was nice. Now it's not, you know, in my opinion. So, um, that's why I'm selling it. But I've taken care of a lot of this stuff very much. So, um, you know, just the only thing, like, this... The Bachman one, it's just the box is just, I've had it for so many, you know, I've had it since 2012. So obviously the box isn't going to be like perfect condition because, you know, I used it a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't really use it very much after 2012 because I didn't really have the ability to run models. The shipping cost. Oh my gosh. Mopac is one of my favorite railroads. So that I w so I would enjoy having it. Hey, if you have Facebook or Instagram, t contact me, man. Go to my Facebook page, GT Rail Fan Productions. Um, it's, you know, or my Instagram, GT Rail Fan underscore Productions. Get in contact with me, man. Um, I'd rather sell it to people that want it, and I know that want it, you know, friends and stuff, instead of having to put it up on the internet, having to do all that. It's so much easier when you can just, you know, hey, I got this for sale, and somebody goes, hey, can I have it, you know? I want to buy that. So get in get get in contact with me if anybody wants any of this stuff. Um, like I said, I will I will make sure these are tested first. I don't think there's an issue with them. They they should be perfectly fine. But I always rather would have them tested before I would sell something. So just letting you letting you know about that. Um, who is it that's saying that they like those a lot? Uh. Well, who is it? Uh, Rails and Sirens of Southwestern Iowa. Oh, uh, Iowa. Oh my goodness. 
can't speak today. Yes. If you're interested in it, I will, you know, I'm going to hold it. I'm not going to put it on the internet if you get a hold of me, okay? When I have it tested and everything, you know, I will hold it for you. So if you, like I said, if you get a hold of me and stuff and we arrange it and stuff, I'll have it tested. And if it's fine and everything, we'll go from there. So just let me know. Um, like I said, all this stuff right now, I'm not putting on the internet unless, you know, unless, you know, if you guys say you want it, I'll get, you know, I'll get in contact with me. I'll work it out with you. But until then, just know it'll eventually end up on the internet. So if you're looking at something going, ooh, that's nice. You know, that's really nice. Get in contact with me. So enough about my, uh, <laughs> my lecture on get in contact with me for, you know, um, these, uh, models but uh this would this one does not come with a box just letting you know it comes in bubble wrap a heck ton of bubble wrap because i've got a ton of it so just letting you know about that i bought it from a train show so that's why i do not have the boxes um but yeah i'm gonna go back to my coaches now so i can do that review and yeah so yeah All right, T. Oh boy. Whoa. Every time I put you guys in this box, it falls. Every time. GT is a predator. That's bad. Don't be saying bad things like that. I'd say a lot of bubble wrap, Lamo Dane, or LMAO Dane. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have a lot of bubble wrap, so if you're, like, concerned, like, oh, it's gonna get broke in the mail, or, you know, I can put a bunch of bubble wrap on it. I got a ton of it, because I'm constantly buying these things. <laughs> so, uh, here, let me see how much my f other phone is charged up. 20% me. Huh. He gave his name out to my five-year-old brother, plus 7,000 foamer points to Dane. Told him to come over, charge it. Dude, I don't even know a five-year-old real fan. Charge it. Yeah, I am charging my old phone. Here, I'll just pull it. Um, I'll make this. Well, I'll let it charge for a little bit. Um, I'll just do the uh, um, unboxing, I guess, uh, in front of y'all. But uh, we'll do. Yes, this is the better car. I'll show you what it is. But uh, you know what that car is. You know, y'all are probably like, what's in the. What's in the bubble wrap, man? I know, I think, uh, I think RC knows what it is. But I don't know about anybody else. But, um, yeah, let me do, uh, I forget how I did this. Yeah, well, no, I actually did have, uh, the car out now thinking about it, if I'm not mistaken. Did I put it, here, I can put it up here. Alright, you guys are gonna get to see it. Um, they're hard to find too it's not like you know you can just go pick one of these up at your local hobby shop it's like oh he actually got one of these so uh it's a Baltimore and Ohio coach And yes, I got it at a pretty good price too. So, got it for like 50 bucks or something. And it's like practically brand new. So, yeah. I'll give you guys the up close look. Give you the. Look at that. 
just hard to find. Yes, sir. He's in the pantry. Aiden, would you stop saying that? <laughs> Gabe, you told him you would show him your pantry. Who? Who would I say I show him my pantry? I ain't got, I don't have a pantry. Hard to find almost falls off table. Hey, don't make fun of me. And first of all, the table shouldn't, or, I don't know. I wasn't thinking. You are right. <laughs> Cut the cap. What cap, bruh? What? This? This cap? What's the cap? But yeah, this is the... These are the new coaches. Never seen one of these in person, but um, boy. I now really like uh, Baltimore and Ohio coaches. Cut the cap. I don't even know what that is referring to. Cap. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the official. Well, I'm gonna start doing a review if you guys are ready for it. Um, I don't know if you're ready for it, but I don't want to have a super long live stream tonight. Stop the cap. Cap. It means lying. What was I lying about? No, I know what stop the cap means, but I was just like, what is what are you guys referring to when I when I'm capping? You know, you know what I'm saying? The five year old, you not being in your pantry. Hey, I'm not in my pantry. The five-year-old, I, I really don't know a five-year-old rail fan. I mean, I don't even have a family member that's, like, five, I don't think. I don't know. I know. Saying. I don't know if you know what that quote, or, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's from a TV show, but uh, I think only A-Train 0105 would get that. If you know what I'm saying. Stop the cap. Oh. Oopie. Yeah, sweet high note, note GT. TB, TPB? You high, bro? No. I'm perfectly fine. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm just, I'm having fun with the live stream. I mean, my, my other phone is at 25% now. I just, I put it on the lowest setting. Um, yeah, we should be good. I'll look at your comments on my old phone so we can... I don't have to sit here and look through behind or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to do this review now, probably. Just saying. Oh, this is kind of off the track. All right. Oh boy. Man, I have to rearrange myself. Oh boy. Don't be doing that. Don't be don't be doing that. I don't like that. Can't be having these things falling.
Here, let's see if I got any more comments. Uh, same. Hey, bro, in your pantry. Don't fall on your pantry floor. Bruh, it ain't no pantry, dog. Jeez, that like light is like too much in a sense. Like it's nice, but at the same time it like it's very bright. Um that should be good. Alright, you guys got any more questions or anything to say? Uh Steve, are you by chance related to Paul Blart? Um Am I related to Hello, Northern Ohio Rail Feeding Productions. Um, I don't think I'm related to Paul Blart. Isn't he like a, he's a fictional, uh, movie character. Rewind, A. Anthony. Um, talk about Brent Lane. The, can we see the bed? Why do you want to see the bed? What? Oh my goodness. Why do you guys ask me such a... <laughs> Rewind and get some good bloopers. Oh, my land. Do I... Re There's nothing special about my bed. Like... All it is, it's all my stuff that sits on this night... Like, this nightstand table, usually. And my my blanket. Because this group is on, oh boy, amen. <laughs> oh, dude, my camera's only got 49 minutes left of battery. Bro, that's whack. Camera, you can't be doing this to me when I got to do live streams and model train reviews. It's messed up, bro. Oh, I don't have my, uh, here, I'm going to turn this table. Yes, I'm doing it slow and precisely, so I don't knock the B&O coach over. There we go. So that adds more support because it's against the wall and won't, you know, jerk as much or easier. And that looks good. Let me, I gotta grab my, um, me and my wife are YouTubers, though. Oh, okay, that's cool. No one asked, David. Yo, calm down. I gave up on the 1943 and the other passenger blooper vids. Uh, Dane, way to be nice. Yeah, Dane, calm down a little bit, buddy. Man, you're going to have a lot of uh, bitter, bitter people or angry people that don't want to watch your videos because you're being mean to them. I am friend with, friends with DJ's Trains. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, um, I met him during Thanksgiving break, and that was very cool. And I believe, you know, for the most part, we're friends. And he said, let me know when you're back, you know, down there. But he's, you know, he's working all the time, so I don't bother him very much. Um, SD set seventy E E is for Eilish. No, it's SD sixty E, and E is for Eilish. Bruh, Aiden, where you at, bruh? Are you still on here? Cause he made, he made that meme. Congrats, David. I'm still trying to figure, find out who asked. Rude, boo. You guys saw the SD sixty ACE. Oh, wait, is there? Oh, I haven't even seen that. If Oh, Aiden is still here. Yes. Yeah, Aiden, Aiden0105 made that meme, if you guys didn't know that. The Billie Eilish meme that was going around with 6963. That was Aiden0105. 
I caught my first MP15 on video last Thursday. Oh, that's really cool. Wait, bruh, he made that? No. It's a SD60M cab with the SD70 ACE long hood. Oh, interesting. Cool, David. But yes, SD60 ACE is a is at Lagrange. That's oh wait. Oh, I think I know exactly. I think I saw a picture of it, but I didn't really know what it was, and there wasn't very much context to it. So I think I know what you're talking about. It's on my rail series call, rail fitting in Ravenna, South Carolina. Oh, that's cool. Uh, holy crap, dude, that's sick. How do you come up with the ideas? I saw that. I saw that. And wait, hold up. Am I reading it? Oh, it's glare. Uh, holy crap, dude, that's sick. How do you come up with the, them ideas? Um, I'll have to check that out. I saw that. That was a good one, A Train XD. Thanks. EMDX 9501 is the 60 ACE. I got to see, see that one day. I just got bored one day. Yeah, he just was like, I was just like, oh, you made that? He's like, yep. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Uh, oh, you and your wife are autistic. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to probably start this review here if y'all, um, you know, or if it, if you're done asking questions, like, for real, Cleveland Rail fan, Dane, be nice, don't be rude, I don't want to be a babysitter <laughs> on these live chats. <laughs> I wonder if more SD60 ACEs will be made. Me and my wife caught Q034 and Q030 two days ago. Oh, okay. It is almost 9.30. Um, I'm probably going to start the review here at 9.30 in the next two minutes. So, um, just letting y'all know. I'm going to grab my uh, little pointer thing, my little, like, screwdriver thing so I can, uh, you know, get you the good, good uh, details, if you know what I'm saying. Saying! How am I being mean, though? No, no, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I just said be careful, you know, just be polite, you know. Um, cause you've been a little, uh, I, I don't know how to, a little, not like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to be the babysitter. I don't want to be the parent here. I don't, I can't tell you what you, I can't tell you kids what to do. What you do in the live chat is what you do in the live chat. It's just, I get punished for it. If you do something bad, bad, but you haven't done anything bad, bad. Unboxing. Okay, let me get my uh, pointer so I can start it, and we can move on with the live stream, and we'll be done. You know, I don't think it'll be a very long live stream. Uh, okay, I got my pointer, my little uh, screwdriver. But basically, I'll explain what the cars are, maybe the story behind I got how I got them, and then... um. I don't know what car. What car should I do first? Should I do the PRR one since that's the unboxing one and save the B&O one for last because that's the better car? Or should I do the B&O car since it's already out and do the unboxing one last? What you guys think? Just curious. I might do the first option where I unbox first and then uh, I think that would be the better option or for the suspense of it. But then again... You guys are my viewers. You tell me. You give me good uh, feedback. What I should do. Uh, unboxing. B&O is the best. Save the B&O. Okay. So we'll do the PRR one first. But I got to do the. I got to do the opening scene first. Explaining. Hey, this is a review, and these are the two other cars I got, and blah 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 blah. 
and then I can do the unboxing. And then I will overview the Pennsylvania Railroad coach, and then we'll go over the B&O coach, and um, yeah, that'll basically be the end of the review, and probably the live stream if it's close to 10 o'clock. GT, talk about 63rd Street Yard. Um, so you're talking about the closure of it, correct? Well, I'm going to head out to bed, but this was will be 100% a blooper video, don't worry. Oh, yeah, they shut down. Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I'm going to be straight, like, I'm going to give you my opinion on NS. I don't see them being a railroad very much longer. I don't know how much longer. I can't really tell you that, how many years they're going to be. But I really don't see them. They're just kind of digging this, digging a hole for themselves, if you get what I'm saying. And, yeah, maybe business-wise, that's, oh, we're making all this extra money and all this and that for the profit, you know, of the company. But there's a line to be drawn when it comes to making money. And when you're going to the bare minimum of increasing train lengths, running one unit on a train. I mean, come on, one unit, you know, that's... First of all, dangerous because you're lo you're stressing a one locomotive out more than it should be. Like you're you're gonna end up paying you're gonna end up paying that extra money you just gained into parts for a locomotive because you're overworking a single locomotive on each train. Then not only that, you know, they've retired they well not retired, but well yeah, they've retired or got rid of a bunch of power, they've laid off plenty of employees and it's just insane that i don't know how they're okay financially wise i mean i would hate working for Red S right now if i knew that this was the attitude of my company that it all it is about is money i mean that's why i will never work for a class one because all that's all it seems like now that's that's how i feel about every corporation a lot of these corporations are very greedy with their money but you know, as long as they do it in good character and they give back and, you know, care about their employees. That's that's what a big thing for me is if they they got to show that they care about the public and their employees, because when they don't care, when they don't show a care for the public or the employees, what's the whole point of the business? You just you have to have that good relationship with the public and your employees, because if you don't have good relationship with the public, that's your customers. They're not going to want to be a customer of yours. And if they are, they're not going to be happy. And same with an employee. An employee ain't going to be happy working there. And who knows? He could leave. Or not he, but they could leave the company. They, you know, you just... They, your quality of your work goes down when your employee maybe doesn't care. They don't like the company. They don't care what happens. It's not theirs they're just here to work they don't you know when people show they don't when a corporation show that shows they don't care about the other people except their money and themselves then that's where other people start start not caring you know and it's just a cycle I'm not saying every mistake that's happened with us is somebody not caring i'm just saying that that mentality will bleed into the employees as well you know, eventually, you know, now not saying every employee, but there will be employees that go, well, all they care about is money. They're just working me to death. And my job, I could get fired tomorrow. And I don't even know because they just want more money. You know? What is the state of the, the line? I live by a CSX line. Boom. Well said, GT. Speaking straight facts. It's one of the worst companies to work for. I want to work for a class two or class three, probably the Iowa Interstate. Yeah, I recommend if you're going to work for a railroad, short lines and regionals are where it's at. Now, it depends on what short line or regional. Obviously, like, they're not, they can act like class ones as well when it comes down to it. But short lines really, I mean, short lines and regionals, you're not going to really have PSR in effect if it's not a very big railroad. It doesn't make sense. They're, that's why short lines handle those lines because. No offense, but PSR couldn't take over the short line. That the short lines. Let me let me reword what I'm saying. You couldn't install PSR very well on a short line when that short line. You you don't really have much traffic on it in the first place, and 
um, it's not a big enough corporation or big enough trackage to do something to that scale. That's why the class ones are more prone to do it. It just, it, it makes, like, if I was, like, CEO or if I was high up in a railroad company, I would make sure that, like, people below me feel respected. Because let's be real, the, all these people that are high on their pedestals up high, you know, and NS, CSX, UP, all these class ones that have PSR, they were at the bottom of the chain at one time. And the problem is they forget where they came from. And that's the big deal. You, they forget where they come from and greed gets them. And that's what's the problem with a lot of our corporations, not just railroads. You know, for me, I wouldn't let that greed get to me. I would, you know, obviously money's a nice thing, but I would also make sure my employees feel, you know, like they're worth, you know, they're, they are cared about. I would make sure the public, I would do stuff for the public, give to charity. I would you know, do stuff for, you know, the people that maybe aren't as fortunate, as fortunate as me to be in a position that I'm in. And not only that, even if they aren't fortunate, or, uh, well, not saying that they're not fortunate, but they're in a good position compared to other people, I'm still doing something good for the public, you know? I'm still, and it's not a publicity move, I'm doing that out of the goodness of my heart, because I feel that's right. If I didn't have people buying my product or using my service, what is the point of me having all this money, you know? Like, that's just what bothers me about big corporations. You wouldn't even have a business if it wasn't for your employees and wouldn't be for the public. So when you cripple those two legs of a, you know, that, that pedestal, which I believe it was Matt Rose, if I'm not mistaken. He was CEO of BNSF, and he said there's a three-legged pedestal you got your workforce, you've got the actual product or service that you do, and you have the public, your customers. Basically, the railroads right now that are in PSR, they're on that one, they're leaning on one pedestal right now. They don't care about the workforce or their employees, and they don't really care about the public necessarily. UP, they got their STEAM program, but they do not care for their employees whatsoever. I'm just saying that right now. Yeah, their STEAM program's all cool and everything, but behind the scenes, you see all these employees are being treated like garbage and fired left and right, and, you know. So, th I don't... Again, like I said, it's nice to have STEAM and stuff, but I don't necessarily respect UP at, at, as a good railroad. Same with NS, same with CSX. No matter, you know, I feel like employees are a big thing when it comes to the railroads or any corporation and when you treat them like dirt that's just not okay to me even if you have good pr relations that's the real people that run that railroad is the employees or the corporation ns is missing all of the legs on lol um it's a dead horse yeah i i can yeah NS is gonna, that stool is gonna give out. They're on their, like, one last strand, you know. I, I'm just saying, and I don't see them being around forever. I, the Iowa Interstates team program is great. Yes, it is, my dude. I want to come out and see that so bad. I mean, they run that thing at 40 miles per hour. I don't know if they hit more than that, but it, they run it at speed, first of all. Second, they run it, they let it pull freight trains. I mean, revenue free. I'm not even joking about that. Look up I, IAIS 6988 freight runs. They will let the steam locomotive pull a revenue freight to wherever it needs to go for excursions. I think that's amazing and awesome. So hopefully if I can get out there, I would like to go see some of that action. Um, just saying I'm focusing a lot on steam next year. I know a lot of you are probably diesel fans, but I'm I'm not like throwing diesel out the window because I'm still focusing on diesel. But you're going to see a lot more steam, hopefully, on my channel because I plan. I just want to go see a lot of steam, and if everything works out, I'm real good friends with uh, C Henderson Rail Productions, and he goes to see steam all the time. And you know, he's invited me to go along for you know whenever for next year. You know. Um, he's in, you know, he said, Hey, if you want to come along for some of the stuff or, you know, I'd I would not mind to have you along. It'd be awesome. You know, 
So hopefully I can get it arranged and stuff and we can, I can go with him and go see, you know, these steam locomotives. But like I said, hopefully, because plans are tentative and they can always change. So like I said, hopefully you will be seeing more steam content on my channel. Um, it depends on what events are being released. I'd like to go to a lot of them, but obviously I can't, I'm not perfect. I can't go to every single Steam event, so, um, CSX did a donation to a tourist railroad. The rest are surviving. All the money from it goes to their service, does to the town it's running from. I understand there's a lot of running costs when it comes to the railroad and other corporations that, you know, that's just production costs, your service. Yeah, but I'm just telling you right now, it does not cost, like, I can almost guarantee you it is not very much of a percentage of what they make. I can almost guarantee you that. The railroads make billions among, millions among, among billions of dollars. And I can almost guarantee you that their fraction of fuel, all, repairs, and all that, I'm just saying... I don't think it's a very big percentage. I wouldn't. I I don't know the actual stats, but I don't think it's a lot. I just feel there's a lot of you know. Oh, I just every opportunity NS can get or any railroad that's PSR. I mean, NS is the worst one of them all. Any chance I can get a dime, you know, I'm gonna do it. If that means laying off a bunch of people, if that means retiring a bunch of power I may need, if that means you know whatever it may be, it's just crazy. And they put a steamboat whistle on it as well. I am a big fan of steamboat whistles. So, yes, I like seeing those steamboat whistles. Personally, my favorite type of a whistle is the Hancock Long Bell 3 chime. Um, you know, Frisco 1522's whistle. It's a, I'm, Supposedly, it's an IC3 chime, but I swear it sounds like a Hancock Long Bell 3 chime from 1992 to 1994. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it it really sounds like one. And if it's an IC3 chime, they tune that thing to sound just like a Hancock Long Bell 3 chime. My other favorite is what the whistle that Southern 630 wore um, in 2012 from June to July, I think it was. It was a Virginia and Southwestern 3 chime. Beautiful. Sounds just like a Hancock Long Bell 3 chime or Frisco 1522's whistle from 92 to 94. Um... And the only other really whistles that I, you know, like for off of steam locomotives, uh, Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis 576s, Hancock Longwell 3 chime. And then you got the CNO uh, Hudson, or I think it's the Hudson or Streamline uh, Hancock Longwell 3 chime from the 1991 NHRS convention. Well, they also use. Still use coal on it as well. They haul the coal a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely a nice steam locomotive. It's a, it's a 210 four. It's a very big steam locomotive for excursion service. I mean, typically, you you know, most excursion excur uh, excursion service steam locomotives, you, you know, you typically see more 484s than anything. 284s, 280s, stuff like that. Um, so to see a 210 four in operation, I think, would be very awesome, especially pulling freight. Um, but let alone just seeing it in service and operational, I think is very cool. So, um, enough of my ramblings. Oh, 2102. I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. 2102. That's my fault. I forgot. 6988 is a 2102. Uh, well, I'm going to start the review now. Uh, I talked a lot. Good conversation, though. Good bringing that up, Dane. I liked it. So, um, let me get this set up and then. Uh, we'll do the unboxing, so. Alrighty, here we go. Hello, and welcome to GT Rail Fame Productions. Here I have another model train review for you. Some Walders HO scale ready to run model passenger cars. And I have a Pennsylvania Railroad coach and a Baltimore and Ohio coach. Yes, uh, the Baltimore and Ohio coach, these are probably very hard to come across, at least from what I've seen personally. I could be wrong, but I have not seen very many B&O coaches online at a very cheap price for what I got it for. I believe it was $55. Um, then this Pennsylvania Railroad coach, I believe it's pretty common you can get it. Um, but I figured I'd get that while I was at it, getting the B&O coach. 
But um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to unbox the Pennsylvania Railroad coach. We'll get the overview of that. And then what I'll do is we'll take a look at the B&O coach. And that'll be pretty much the review other than uh, seeing it run on the layout. So uh, let's get into the review then. Yeah, I know they have two uh, QJ steam locomotives. They have, uh, I forget the number of the other one, but they have two of them. Then R.J. Corman has a QJ. Those are Chinese-built steam locomotives, if you didn't know. Um, so the other one's more original to the Chinese build than uh, 6988. Uh, 6988 looks more like, they made it more look like an American locomotive than uh, the Chinese build. Which, rumor has it, I believe I was told that, next year will be the last year for it. Because it'll go in for its night, or its 1,472 uh, FRA rebuild. So, if y'all are interested in seeing that locomotive, IAS, wait, IAIS, uh, 6988, yeah, probably would be a smart idea next year because if they do run it next year which i'm hoping um uh, that they run it but uh i believe it's going in for its fra rebuild after next year so yeah just letting y'all know about that it's also another reason why i want to get out there pretty badly sorry i'm just putting this B&O coach on another track come on There we go. Put this right here. Scoot up forward so I can do the unboxing. Pause. Stop. Wait a minute. Bing bong, bing bong. Bing bong, the witch is dead, the witch is dead. Here, I wonder if I can. Here, I gotta move this. Move this out of the way. I wonder if I can scoot this more to the right. Sorry, I had it over my leg, so it was kind of like in an uncomfortable position. Alrighty, now we're going to do the unboxing of this uh, Pennsylvania Railroad coach. Um, which side do I want to do this from? Um, I believe I'll do it from this side. It's a Bud Grill Diner coach. And I believe there is a similar coach um, that was used on the CBSR uh, Steam of the Valley events. This car looks very similar to it. Um, almost exact, but I don't think it's exact. Um, okay. Oop, I bumped my camera. Oopsies. Then you got all the papers in here. Uh, the diagram and stuff like that. Uh, warranty information. We'll, we'll replace parts. Items missing. Oh, what's that? Oh, these are decals, probably. Yep. So any missing, or any decals that fall, fall off. Oh, wow. Uh... Amtrak Pace Court 4 stuff. That's cool. Oh, it tells you how to replace decals if any of them are... That's cool. I never really looked at it fully. Um, I didn't realize it had a backside to it as well. So I put the uh, papers back in the box. Gonna put it underneath here. And then this is different than from what I've had recently. Oh, this, oh, that just lifts off. Wow. Interesting. And you have the car here. Wow, this is a very, very, very nice coach. Oh, wow. I really like this coach. That's nice. I didn't pull it out of the box yet either, I don't think. Uh, at least I don't remember pulling it out of the box. Um, but, yeah, very nice car. Very nice. Um, now I'm going to zoom in on the car a little bit more, angle it to where it's, you know, correctly angled, and then um, 
I will center it as well. So I'm going to do that now. Dude, I really, really, really like this car. I mean, that's that's really nice. Glad I got this one. B and O coach though is really nice as well. Alrighty now, we are zoomed in on the coach, and I'm going to point out the um, details of the car. Um, here we have the PRR logo, right here. Then you have your windows right here, you have your trucks, you have your, like, air conditioners or any of, you know, systems for the train to uh, simply, well, passenger car to operate, but it will assist the train in any way that it needs to, heating and cooling purposes, uh, braking, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, I believe this would be where a number would be for these PRR coaches, but I don't I don't believe there's a number there, unless I'm not seeing it. I could be. Uh, no, there's not a number there. Then here you have your other PRR coach, and then you, or not PRR coach, your PRR logo. And then you have a door right here. Then you have these little niches on the top of the um, car, the passenger car. It's not completely smooth on the top, but I believe that's because of the kitchen that's in here. Because it's a, um, it's a grilled diner. Um, well, no. I might be wrong. Here, I might do that again. Yeah, I'm going to redo that really quick. Here, let's see. I believe it. Um... Yeah, there's a, yeah, it's called a grilled diner car. It is a diner car, so technically I was correct. Um, here, let me jump back on my live stream. I ask, has movers, I don't know, there's some preservation. They probably did, yeah. My last might have, I really doubt they would sell the QJs. RJ confirmed they're selling theirs. Uh, RJ Corman actually, I think, is donating theirs to the Kentucky Heritage Steam Corporation. It's definitely not getting sold or scrapped since it's giving the railroad good attention. I just got new stuff new stuff to extend for my layout. Oh that's cool. Nice man. And uh and then goes for its five year boiler inspection and seven zero eight one will come out for its Americanization. And the FRA rebuild will probably take about two years or so. Um, it's definitely not going to get sold or scrapped. RJ confirmed they're selling theirs. Um, they will probably rebuild them for the FRA rebuild and run them again. I mean, I would believe so, but, you know, um, I believe the, per like, the way they did it was they marked them as, like, on the insurance papers, they marked them as Safety Express stuff. So... That's kind of how they got a reason to run the steam locomotives again. So I wouldn't count on it because I, you know, they did get attention for it, but they could always change their mind. So, um, you know, you never know if they just like, hey, the, the, the flu time wore out. You don't really want to do it. But I would assume they would, you know, rebuild it and stuff like that. But always, no, not always a promise when a steam locomotive goes in for its FRE rebuild. Cough, cough. Um, what was it? Cough, cough, Grand Trunk and Western 4070. Cough, cough, Pennsylvania, well, Pennsylvania Railroad 1361s was because of boiler crack, but look at that project. Still, since 1988, it's been under, 1989, hasn't been under operation in 
you know, 30 years, over 30 years, and they're just now trying to get a new boiler built for it. So don't always count on a steam locomotive just because it goes in for its rebuild, it'll come right back out. Um, because sometimes there's the tragic side of it where they don't get it done. So, but, um, I would expect I, I would interstate to continue to run steam excursions, but like I said, they could always be that jerk and be like, well, the flu time run out, man, not worth my time anymore. But they, I don't think they'd sell them at least. I don't think so. Midwest was getting flames this week yeah um i really don't know the whole situation at the midwest preservation society or whatever but they say a couple years every year and it's like okay guys like what's going on here like are you gonna what do you plan if you are restoring it like how do you how to the american steam railroad which is restoring reading t1 2100 is getting like all the support from midwest like why aren't they what what's happened? Why can't they get that kind of support? Like I don't understand it. So I'm gonna redo this really quick. Alrighty, so now I have it, you know, zoomed in and centered now. And we're gonna go over the details of this locomotive or not locomotive, this passenger car. <laughs> redo. I said locomotive. I'm big dumb. Dude, why is my camera almost dead? Like, I swear I charged it. Alrighty, we're going to go over the details of this passenger car. So here you have your PRR logo. You have the Pennsylvania reporting marks or lettering with the, uh, I'd say Tuscan red um, pinstripe underneath it. And then you have another one that's, it's smaller than this, you know, this one's thicker on the top because of the lettering. But then you have a very, very faint, you know, pinstripe of Tuscan red underneath the windows. This would be, I believe, where the number would be if there was a number, but there is not one. And then you have your door right here, and then another PRR logo, Pennsylvania Railroad. Then I don't know exactly what these are for, but it's obviously not smooth on the top exactly. And then you have these two things, which I don't know what they're called, but I believe this is a diner car, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, this would contribute for, you know, letting out uh, any uh, steam or smoke or whatever they're cooking in the kitchen. It would just simply come out of this. So I'm going to flip the car to the other side so we can look at the other side. I, I don't think there will be a very big difference um, in both sides, you know, but you never know. I, this is my first time looking at it. So let's flip to the other side. Oh, wow, there is a difference. Didn't expect that. So I spoke too soon, and there actually is a difference from both sides. There's actually smaller windows right here, which I'm assuming for the kitchen, you know, if you have the windows on that side, and maybe these are just smaller for kitchen appliances, you know, but you all... You, you know, everything else is the same other than these four small windows right there. So you got the the door, the PRR logo. Um, these, I believe these, there's two of these on that side, but there's one right here and one on the end. Um, then you have your Pennsylvania Railroad, you know, lettering with the Tuscan red pinstripe underneath. The same with the uh, light pinstripe underneath the windows. And then you have the uh, PRR logo. And then, you know, your where your number, I believe, would be, but it's not there. Um, you have your trucks, which I I don't know if I pointed it out on the other side, but, I, you know, here's your trucks. And then you have all the appliances and systems underneath the passenger car that assist with heating, cooling, um, you know, any, like for here, probably kitchen appliances, electricity, um, 
braking, you know, whatever helps the train run, basically, and, you know, keeps the passengers happy. So um, now I'm going to jump to the Baltimore and Ohio coach. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a quick pan of each car. So I'm going to do a pan slowly of the car, and then I'll get the other side of it. And then um, I'll do the same for, uh, you know, for whatever you call it, the, the, you know, coach. So, oh, that's not level. Oopie, that's not level. On. I don't have much battery left. Come on. Oh boy. There we go. That looks more level. Yeah, that's right. Well, sort of. Spin it to the other side. All right. Was that level? No. Gosh darn it. It's not level. There we go. That's level. All right, now time for the B and O coach. I really wish I had a box for the B and O coach because that would be very nice, but nothing I can do about it. I got it at a freaking awesome price, so I can't complain. I never thought I'd own one either because I was like, man, but you know, I never thought about it. Baltimore, Ohio, is just like, ah. Eh. But when I saw it, I was like, you know, well, I've come across them, but I never, I was just like, wow, these are expensive. Like, I'm never going to have one of these. And then I was like, oh, I have one of these now. So, yeah. So, uh, let's get the review of the Baltimore and Ohio coach done. And yeah, I'll finish up any, wrap up any questions you guys have for me, and then I'll let you off and have a good rest of your night, you know. But I'll... Yeah, let's start this review of the Baltimore Ohio coach now. 
So now we are looking at the Baltimore and Ohio coach, which I believe is a sleeper coach, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to check, but I don't have a box for this model, as it did not come with one. Now, I believe it was used, but the fact that it was at a great price, I paid, I believe, $55 for this, which usually these coaches are very hard to find and not at reasonable prices. So I'm very thankful that I even got my hands onto one. So, you know, this is very awesome. So we're going to go over the extreme detail of the locomotive. We're going to go over the extreme detail of the passenger car. And yeah. So you, ha you have Pullman right up here. Then you have your Baltimore and Ohio lettering right there. Then you have your Pullman right here as well. You have your windows. And then you have your yellow pinstripes, which are above the lettering and below it, but above the windows. Then you have your yellow pinstripe that's underneath the windows and then finishes the bottom of the uh, passenger car. You have your trucks and you have all the other appliances and systems that go underneath the passenger car to help the train heat, you know, the passenger car heat itself, cool itself, um, you know, braking, all that things and such like that that go underneath the passenger car to help the train run and to keep customers and, well, passengers, uh, you know, safe and, you know, uh, happy. So uh, I'm going to flip to the other side of the car really quick so we can notice any differences. I don't really think there are, but we'll take a look at that really quick. Sorry, I'm doing up closes in the pans, but you know, so I can get that out of the way. All right, turn it to the other side.
Come on. All right. All right, we're looking at the other side of this coach, and it's practically the same thing. Um, maybe the windows over here might be slightly different, but not very much of a big difference. It's the same, you know, uh, the door I forgot to mention on the other side to the, to get inside the coach. It was right here, but it's on the other side. Um, you have your Pullman, which is up here, the Baltimore and Ohio lettering. You have your Pullman up here as well, and... You know, you have the pin, the, the yellow pinstripes above and below the Baltimore, Ohio lettering and the Pullman lettering above, you know, the windows, same thing, and trucks. And yeah, that's practically it. You know, other than I forgot to point out the grab irons as well. These two grab irons right there. Um, those are on there as well. There's a little like step thing as well. So yeah. Um, those were the really the only things that I forgot to mention, but not big things, but uh, a great coach overall. And both of these coaches are very, very, very nice. I mean, pleasing to the eye. And definitely I wasn't really like, I mean, I was a fan of B&O coaches, but having one in front of me, I'm just like, whoa, got to get more. And, you know, maybe in the future, I'd like to model the uh, CSX OCS, which is Y and one well, I don't know what you really want to call it. I don't know if it's a revert back to their first uh, OCS paint scheme, like the YM1 scheme with the darker blue and then this shade of, you know, uh, blue down the middle with the windows. You know, they're kind of reverting the OCS back to that. So, you know, I wouldn't mind to model that one day. But, uh, yeah, the Baltimore, Ohio coach is definitely really nice. This silver uh, PRR coach is very nice as well. So um, that'll be... The end of this uh, part of the review, you'll get to see it on a layout, and that'll practically be end of the review. So, uh, it was a nice review for you guys. Have a good day, and GT Rail fan out. Uh, let's see if anybody else is on. Oh, wow, you guys are still on. Uh, uh, okay, it's a five-year boiler inspection. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to do up closes of the uh, the uh, PRR coach. I gotta remember which side it was. I believe it was this side. No, it was the other side. I started it with this side. Um, just I'd like to do up closes of the uh, fine detail, like the logos and like the lettering and stuff like that. I gotta do it really quick before my camera dies because it's about to die. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh.
Alright, I managed to get all of it, I think, before my camera died. <laughs> um, any of y'all have questions before I end this live stream? I appreciate all that did join. <laughs> Nothing. Alrighty, well, I'm going to end the live stream. Uh, I hope you, everyone that did, was on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate. Oops. I appreciate everyone that did join the live stream. Um, you help support the channel by doing that. And yeah, um, you know, everyone have a good rest of their night. Uh, GT Rail fans, signing out.